this is crazy stuff. I just threw this in to tease you. After, after you've done soldering for a while, you want to challenge. That's 0201 SMD LED that I'm trying to get off the end of that uh, pair of tweezers. I'm doing this under a microscope. And what you see is some 40 gauge magnet wire but I'm just going to cut barely enough off to go onto that, that LED so that it doesn't hang over very much and I don't have any uh, non-insulated magnet wire hanging around. I'm going to hold it down. Stable at that size is important. There's the flux again. A little bit of flux on the end of that wire and then I'll rub it on on the SMD LED. I've got a little bit of solder on the soldering iron. You can see the magic smoke. We'll see. Uh, maybe uh, see if it, oh, nope, didn't work that time. Oh well. Uh, no big deal. Just straighten it out. Add a little bit more flux to that piece of wire and go in and see if I can get it this time. I decided to do this part of the demonstration just to show that soldering is generally all the same. What you do is you get Things stabilized, clean, fluxed, the solder ready to flow, flow the solder on, and make the joint. There we go. Pull that out from and under that uh, holder. We'll do one more and then be ready to answer some questions if you have any. One thing I do do with a magnet wire is I cut it to length and I have a, a solder pot. It's just a, a electric, it's like a, a it's a, like an electric crock pot. It's tiny and it heats, heats the uh, solder up to melted and I stick the magnet wire in it and it does two things. It melts it and tins it at the same time. That's why I had to cut the end of the, uh, of the wire off. If you're going to do a lot, a lot of soldering on wires and you want to tin them all at the same time, a uh, solder pot is a very handy tool to have. We'll just do one more. See if this one goes easy or not. This one might go easier than the last one. I really like that method of getting flux onto a, on, onto a uh, onto a piece. That thirty-one thousandths wire is 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 sturdy enough and holds just a just a the tiniest little bit of flux, and then get it exactly where I want it. There we go. One more SMD LED for headlight in a N-scale locomotive or something equally as small, maybe a step light or a ground light on an HO locomotive. <laughs>